Good morning, everyone. Welcome to CBHP News. I'm Sonora Scott. It's Thursday, April 9th. As of yesterday, April 8th, there are 25 positive cases of the coronavirus in Tong Green County. No new cases were reported yesterday by the city of San Angelo. There are some closures coming up for Easter weekend. All parks, trails, and public lake access points will be closed. Remember, the city currently has stay at home, stay safe restrictions. This means only leave your home for necessary trips to the grocery store and other essential businesses. There shouldn't be any gatherings with anyone from outside of your household. Now to a story about how our library is making the most of their makerspace during this epidemic. Here's our Amanda Lozano. As soon as we heard that there were, was a shortage in our own community, we knew right away that with the machines that we have down there, that that was something not only that we could do, but that we should be doing. When the Tom Green County Library System was forced to close due to the coronavirus pandemic, workers decided to continue using their STEAM Central makerspace to make much needed personal protective equipment for the medical community. We were actually contacted by a coordinator here in the medical community um, to make these because they knew that we had the 3D printer. So we have two 3D printers there in the makerspace. And we're using those to make the headbands that go on the face shields. The printers are running 24-7 and are able to make 16 face shield headbands a day. Local businesses are donating other materials and community members are assembling the face shields. The library is also using sewing machines from the maker space to create face masks. A retired San Angelo nurse provided the pattern for the masks. That is a quilting cotton mask that has an insert where you can, an insertable pouch that you can then place your um, regular mask into, the one that you're gonna have to reuse every day. We are working with Shannon to make sure that they have enough that their nurses are covered at least, um, and that their janitors are covered. You know, they have housekeeping and maintenance and everybody has to be very careful right now. So having those masks for them is awesome. For News Connection, I'm Amanda Lozano. Thanks, Amanda. And our Jeff Caldwell has a look at how small businesses are holding up. Of the businesses seeing a drop in revenue due to the coronavirus shutdown, restaurants and bars have been some of the hardest hit. We're probably about 25% from our average. Right now, that's okay. We've cut expenses back as much as we've needed to. Aside from cutting back expenses, Casual Pint, like other traditionally in-person businesses, has had to make some strategic adjustments to how they serve people. We are fortunate that we are a craft beer market. Right now, we're keeping about 200 different beers in package. So we're really catering to curbside delivery, those avenues. Even after reducing as many expenses as possible, keeping staff employed and paying them has become a major concern. Fortunately, the staff has been very agreeable. So some don't want to work, some are okay not working, and then the ones that do have to work, we're able to keep those shifts as they were. Even with all of these strategies and cuts, Marshall says he needs the help available in the CARES Act and the Paycheck Protection Program. I've gone through the CARES Act uh, and also the uh, Payroll Protection Act, and I've done my homework on both of those and have applied for both. I believe at this point in time, I have what's out there figured out, even though it is a moving target. But to answer your question, yes, <laughs> all of that is needed. Jeff Caldwell, Concho Valley homepage. Thanks, Jeff. April is the month of the military child. One group is highlighting all the wonderful things military children are doing all across the state, and now they've opened up the contest to our area as well. Here's the details. April is the month of the military child, and so every year we do something special for them, um, but this year we wanted to do something a little more exciting and extraordinary, particularly for those that are between the ages of four and 15 years old. So we came up with Hunt Little Heroes. And instead of making it just for Hunt Military Community um, children, we decided to open it up to any active military member's child. And they are to write a 300 word essay, a drawing, or a video of why they feel that they're a leader in their community. And so we've been getting all of these new submissions and the stories are so heartwarming.
anything from creating a compost box to going grocery shopping for some seniors that are can't get out right now. Um, so a lot of the themes that I'm seeing have to do with COVID-19, but there's a lot that they've been doing throughout the year. Um, we've seen some are doing toy drives at Christmas time, some are participating in Reads Across America. So it's just kind of heartwarming to see these children who are trying to emulate their service member parent and do something great for the community. So all these children will have at least one parent that's an active military member who served their country every day. Um, and so I think it's really important. And I think we're gonna find after COVID-19 that a lot more children are going to be um, you know, much more giving and it's gonna be more um, in their forefront of thinking about what can I do for others to help them. So I think that's really great. But when we designed this, or this program, we had no idea about COVID-19 at the time. So we came up with this like, you know, in December uh, before everything hit. So I think it, it was perfect timing to be able to inspire those children to think about what can I do in my community, whether it's for COVID-19 or not. Um, and I, I will tell you that we, all of the submissions so far, there's only been a couple about COVID-19. Most of them are things that these children have been doing on an ongoing basis. So you get these very heartwarming stories and I think that's what it's all about, is just making these children conscious that there's great things they can do in their community and they can make an impact. It's, you know, it's very important and valuable. And I think that's something, once we instill that in children at an early age, it will carry them through their life. They're going to want to do more and look for other opportunities to serve. Thank you for joining me for CVHP News. Don't forget to follow us on social media and download our free app. All you have to do is search Contra Valley homepage in your app store. That's all for right now, but hey, I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day, everybody.